All right, so on this Android Studio tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this pop-up menu with nice icons and uh, on a long press, it will pop up on an image and you can use it for text or for anything, essentially. And when you click on the icons, it uh, activates a toast message for each icon. But uh, let's get started immediately and uh, go to our drawable file and create a new vector asset. And we're going to create a few. We need four, actually. So three is going to be for the menu for this example. And one is going to be for that stock image you saw in the... Uh, image view. So let's just create three icons here to get started and uh, I'm gonna change the colors later but uh, for now you can just put them all at black but if you right click on them you can see they're all uh, highlighted as white so you can go there and change them to whatever color you prefer and I did that three times for all of those and finally I forgot to create the image for the image view but uh, we'll go ahead and create it right now so just go there pick a random image and we're just gonna use that for our XML layout. Then we can go straight to our XML out and change this text view to an image view and give it an ID of IV underscore image and finally give it the source of the vector asset we just created for it. Then we should change the width and height to 250 dp so we can actually see it. But that's actually all you have to do in the XML layout. Then we can go to the rest file and create a new resource file and we're going to name it pop up menu. And it's going to be of type menu so it creates the folder for us. And inside here, we're going to create a few menu items. And to do that, let's get started immediately by going into this menu XML and creating an item with an ID of nav underscore share. And we're going to add the icon for uh, sharing and the title of share this image. And we're going to do this exactly the same for the next two icons. So do it for the nav underscore message and the nav underscore flag or report. And I forgot to change the icon for the bottom one, but we'll change that later but essentially just create three icons. And that's all we have to do for the UI. Now we can go to our main activity file and create a pop-up menu function. And let's get started by creating a private function of pop-up menu. And inside here we'll write value pop-up menu is going to equal pop-up menu. And we're gonna write application context with our IV underscore image. And then we're gonna inflate it with pop-up menu dot inflate r dot menu dot pop up underscore menu. We're gonna do pop up menu dot set on menu item click listener and we're gonna do when it dot item ID is r dot ID nav share. It's gonna create a toast for that nav underscore share and it's gonna take application context as the context and it's gonna say share pressed and we're gonna return true. And to get rid of all those errors we're just gonna immediately add the else under which is just gonna say returns true in case anything else happens. But copy and paste that nav underscore share three times for as many icons or items as you have and change the IDs to the other uh, icon IDs and change the text as you wish or put whatever function you want in there. If you want to change fragments, you can put it in there as well. But uh, right under that, we're gonna do IV underscore image dot set on long click listener. And this is gonna be for when you hold on the button, on the image view, I mean, we're gonna write in here a uh, val popup. It's gonna be of popup menu class java dot get declared field, which is gonna be m popup. And we're gonna write true for the return on the set on long listener to get rid of the error. And then above that, we can write popup dot is accessible. We're going to equal true. And we're going to write val menu is going to equal popup dot get. And it's going to get the popup menu. And under that, we can write menu dot java class. And it's going to get declared method, which is going to be set forced show icon. And it's going to be boolean class dot java. And under that, we're going to write invoke, which is going to be menu. And we're going to set arguments to true. And finally, I forgot to add a try catch kind of block here. It's very important you add this in case anything goes wrong. We're just gonna pretty much print stack trace an exception and we are gonna use a final a finally block which is always gonna show the pop-up menu regardless if the icons work or not just in case anything goes wrong. But for the most part of it your icons should show. But in the long run when we're done with this uh, code you should have this section here and as you can see there I forgot to change that icon so I just went back to the pop up menu XML and change it real quick. But once we compile it once more, it will have this uh, function that when you long click on the image, it will show you this pop up context menu with nice icons and it's fully functional, looks great. It's very easy to implement. And uh, yeah, that's actually all there is to creating this very simple menu. But as always, if you have any other recommendations, leave them in the comment section below and I'll look, do my best to look into them. And uh, yeah, see you in another video.